Oh, my basil is starting to come up, and I believe that's my chives. It might be my basil. Planted both. Yes, they're looking so good. I am glad. And I just planted a whole bunch of lettuce in here for microgreens. And those are going to be good, too. I had some pumpkin in the refrigerator, and I needed to get something done with it. So I cooked it all up, baked it in the oven, and took all the skin off and then pureed it. I'm wandering back into the back room. I had a mess to clean up. I should have taken a picture of it before I cleaned it up, but I didn't. I had to clean up dirt off of the floor, this plant right here, and this one right, or the one next to it too. It was all emptied out. Yes, that one was completely emptied out on the floor. I hope it does okay. It was one of my plants that looked the best. I've got it replanted. Well, kitty cat's the one that knocked it off. And I noticed the other day I had to prop my tiny Tim tomato up because it was getting top heavy. But other than that, things are doing pretty good back here. Hi. I have some leftover pumpkin I needed to just decide what to do with. So I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies. Pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. All right, I've already started to preheat the oven. Preheat the oven to 375 degrees. Let's see if my recipe tells me how many Celsius that is. It doesn't, so I have no clue. So if you need it in Celsius, You'll have to translate that. 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, what I'm doing next then is I'm going to put parchment paper on my cookie sheet. Okay, I need two cups of flour. And I see I forgot to bring my ingredients to where I need them, so I will go get those. Okay. I think I have everything I need here now. I'm going to put in two cups of flour. One. Two. Let me see if that shows there. Okay, can you see my bowl now? Yes, I believe you can. All right, good. I have in here two cups of flour. And I'm putting in one teaspoon of baking soda. And one teaspoon of baking powder and I will have to walk over here to get one teaspoon of salt and I use here we go pink Himalayan salt I need one teaspoon together and one teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. There we go. Pumpkin pie spice.
All right. I am going to get a whisk out of here. Whisk that all together. Let's see if you can see me doing that. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> there, I think I fixed everything so you can see a little better what I'm doing. It's always an experiment when I go to record cooking to get my camera in just the right spot. All right. I have in here, I'll repeat, so in case you didn't get it, two cups of flour, one teaspoon each of baking soda, baking powder, salt, and pumpkin pie spice. All right, now I am adding a half a cup of butter, slightly softened, and... I'll get a spoon out here because I'm going to need a spoon. Get a nice big one. Okay. And I'm using the unsalted kind of butter. So it's slightly, slightly softened. squishing that into my flour mixture. Part of that was softened more than other parts of it. And I'm adding a half a cup of brown sugar. And because we watch our sugar intake, I'm using Splenda. And it is a... It's a blend. It's a blend. Mix of Splenda sweetener and brown sugar. So it has half of the calories of regular brown sugar. And then it asks for a half a cup of white sugar. And for my white sugar, I'm using completely Splenda. If I can get the bag open, there we go. And anytime I use them, my husband always says that it isn't sweet enough, so I generally speaking, just double the amount of Splenda that I say I'm putting in just to make sure that it has a sweet taste. Okay, and I'm going to be uh, mixing this all together. I'll put it down here where I have a little more control over what I'm doing. Teaspoon, teaspoon of vanilla. I always overdo the vanilla just a little bit because we like the way it tastes. And then it asks for three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree. So here's my cup and I'm going to get a generous three, pour, three, three quarters of a cup of pumpkin puree. And this is homemade, it's not out of a can. And one egg. And yes, it's a store-bought egg. I do not have any chickens. I live in the in town. I can have chickens, but I can't have a rooster. But I don't have chickens. All right, I'm gonna mix, mix this all up good. I'm gonna move that over there. Put this down here and 
mix it up really good. me my arm muscle exercise. <laughs> okay, at last not least it calls for one and one half cup of chocolate chips this one. I'm just using Kirkland semi-sweet chips. Okay, the recipe asks me to put spoonfuls of batter on my cookie sheet and then refrigerate for 15 minutes or so. I don't know if I have room in my refrigerator for my rack, my this. So I'm just going to put the bowl in the refrigerator for a little while and I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, it's been a few minutes. I don't know if it's been a full 15 minutes or not, but I'm not a very patient person, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my cookies on my sheet, a spoonful at a time. Okay, and these go in the oven for, it said 14 to 17 minutes, so I'm setting my timer for 15 minutes. church I remember for when I was a little girl so I'm guessing it's as old as I am one of my favorite things about it is that I wind it up and it plays Silent Night
all together. Well, the others are still in the oven for a couple more minutes. But 26 cookies altogether, that's just a little over four dozen. And that's more than enough for hubby and myself to eat. He likes them crisp, and I like them kind of chewy. And these look like they're kind of in between. So I think we'll both be happy. I moved my little herd of reindeer. Kitty cat kept knocking them over where I had them before. And we're starting to get a nice collection of Christmas cards. Well, my cookies are made. And I listened to my little church play Silent Night. I cleaned up the mess that my kitty cat made. And I shared it with you what has been going on in my day. Now I would like to read you a poem. This is a poem by Christina Rossetti called In the Bleak Midwinter. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow had fallen, snow on snow, snow on snow in the bleak midwinter long ago. Our God, heaven cannot hold him, nor earth sustain. Heaven and earth shall flee away when he comes to reign. In the bleak midwinter, a stable place sufficed. The Lord God Almighty, Jesus Christ. Enough for him whom cherubim Worship night and day, breast full of milk and a manger of hay, enough for him whose angels fall before, the ox and ass and camel which adore. Angels and archangels may have gathered there, cherubim and seraphim thronged the air, but his mother only in her maiden bliss, worshipped the beloved with a kiss. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can give him, my heart. Until my next video, may the good Lord richly bless you. Mm -hmm.